All right, welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to be learning about modules. Now, sometimes when you're building your application, it can contain thousands of lines of code and having all the codes in a single file can be confusing sometimes. So what we need to do is break down this code and put them into individual files, say file one, file two, file three. Now in Node.js, each of these individual files is called a module. Now, when creating a, creating a module, you don't just separate out code. Let's say first 50 lines go into file one, the next 50 lines of code go into file two, and the next 100 go into file three. No, a module is going to contain related code. So let's see how we can understand modules using Node.js code. Now we have our app.js blank file. So let's create a new file and save it as, let's say, athletics.js. Now let's create two functions. The first one is function relay. And let's just type console.log. This is relay function. And let's have a second function called, uh, fu um, sorry, so let's give it a name called long jump. So long jump and let's console.log, this is long jump function. Now, we have our main file, which is the app.js, and we have a separate file, athletics.js. Now, if you want to convert this athletics.js into a module, then we need to write this piece of code. So module.exports.relay is equal to relay. Now, this relay belongs to the module.exports, whereas this relay belongs to the name of the function relay. So save it and go back to app.js and to make use of our athletics module, we are going to type variable athletics. Athletics is equal to, we're going to be making use of a keyword called require to import modules and it's going to take a parameter which is the name of the file. Now since athletics is in the same directory as our app.js, we need to type dot and then a front slash. And then we type athletics athletics dot you know you can just ignore the dot js. So variable athletics is equal to require athletics. And then we can say athletics dot relay. Now if we go ahead, save it, save athletics, open command prompt and say node app dot js. Now this is a relay function. So how did this work? In our app dot js, we have requested for a module or in simple terms a file called athletics. So this is the file and then we say we have stored this file in a variable called athletics. So this athletics has access to this function relay. Now since we have exported the relay function, we can make use of this in our app.js. So when we call athletics.relay, it goes to athletics file and then calls this function and in our console, this is relay function is printed as we see here. Now, since we don't have our long jump function, um, you know, exported using this module.exports, if you go ahead and type at athletics.longjump, save it, and when we run again, it says there's an error. Now, athletics.longjump is not a function. So I can just type module.exports.longjump. 
is equal to long jump and save it save it now when you type node app.js it says this is relay function and this is long jump function now what I'm trying to highlight here is that if you want some piece of code to be used only within that particular module then don't export it and if you want the code to be shared between files then use the module.export assign it to a variable and then in our main file you can use the require keyword to import the module and then you can call the corresponding function now, do you mean to say that if we had if we had a hundred functions, would we be writing modules dot exports hundreds hundred times? Well, absolutely not. We can make use of this module dot exports object in a name value fashion. So, just let me just leave module dot exports and type module dot exports. Sorry, module dot exports is equal to now initially every module is going to have this module.exports implicitly defined and then assigned to empty brackets. Now what we want to do is create name value pairs. So name would be relay and then its value would be our function. So function and then console.log and we can just type this is the relay function and then we can have a second one long jump as a name and then its value is going to be a function console.log this is the long jump function now we have replaced these two functions by passing it as values over here and we have eliminated these two lines of code by using this module.exports object. So we can delete this. Now save it, save our app.js. If we go back and execute, we still have the is the relay function typo. Yep. And then this is the long jump function. Now that's it about how that's it about modules and how we create our own modules in Node.js. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about one of the core modules or a built-in module that Node.js provides us with. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.